It's the Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I don't I want no to. Uh, I don't want to go around setting a standard that's too high for the rest of the male species or anything like that. But uh, I'm what you call an overachiever. I'm what you would call trophy husband. I'm what mm-hmm. you would call uh, arm candy for some. Uh, just this morning, moments ago, before we hit the uh, record button on the uh, show here, personally, without being told or provocated, is that a word? Uh, provocate, yes, it is. Okay. Good. All right, good, good, good. I filled the toilet paper dispenser in the bathroom. Now, okay, did you put the, did you, did you just put it on top of the roll or did you put it on the roll? I, not only did I put one on the roll, you know the uh, the arsenal that hangs off the side of the tank. Yes, filled that too. Wow, that you know what? That's going above and beyond. I you thought didn't just so. go above. Yeah, you could have said you could have stopped at the above. I thought so. You have to. You're like, no, I'm Andy. I'm going the extra mile, so I'll go beyond. That's what I did. Kudos, sir. Well, you, you try and top that later today. Yeah, I'm not going to, but. Um, Fair enough. But good for you. I think so too. I'm I proud always, of me. I'm big. I'm big on applauding others' extra effort, even yeah. if I, uh, I'm not one to always engage in that. You know, I don't think I thought about this, and I th- this is a character flaw of mine, because I try, I, like, with people's birthdays and stuff, I make sure I acknowledge. I try to acknowledge birthdays. Even on Facebook, but like on Facebook, a lot of times I because now they've made it easier for you to be a, a lazy virtual friend. You can just hit that one button, and even the one that just says HBD on it. Yep. You can't get more lazy than just the autofill HBD with the, you know some stupid emoji that they put in. Um, but I, I I do that, but I don't know that I go out of my way to help as often as I should. You should do more. I think everybody should do more, but yeah, but I, I'm, I think I should, I, I do some, cha- you know, I do a couple of charity events during the year and I yeah, like should to do pretend more. that's good enough, but I think I probably could, could do a little bit more volunteering. I think I probably should. Good thinking. And yeah, I think you should do some good. soul searching too. No, I know my soul is fine. I don't need the soul searching is not something I need. No, to you do. need to do more, especially after no. yesterday. Yesterday you were crapping all over people who were sick and carrying on about that. And on and on. No, oh, and then oh, and, and then yes. I get a text. My brother-in-law is sick today with a stomach flu. I hope you cuss him out. You know what? When he gets no. back to work, here's what I want you to do. You work in a countertop shop, right? Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. So when your brother-in-law gets in uh, after his stomach virus, I want yes. you to find a piece of scrap wood, and I want you to walk up behind him, and I want you to break it over the back of his legs. No, <laughs> and say and say you first sob. All, how dare you yeah. be sick? First of all, he he's sixty five and he's about six five. Well, uh, two hundred and ten hey. pounds. He still take me. Well, now this listen. is the same guy. Now again, I was I was lauding him not too long ago for coming in and working, uh, with not just not with the flu with pneumonia. He came in bundled up working with pneumonia and, and gutted it out. This I was joking with you when I sent that text. Uh, you know, made it, but. Yeah, if you got the stomach flu, because I even I texted him. I said, dude, just don't come in. I I got it. Don't worry about it. You got a a stunt because that's that's what real sick is. So wait a minute. I, I, last week, what I was crapping on yesterday. So wait a minute. And you were completely wrong because what I because I said it's okay. Use up your sick days. I recommend using them up when you're not sick. That and you just call in with whatever fake ailment you have. But you had this completely bogus bullshit idea that that the reason the younger people call in sick is because they care more about getting others sick which isn't the case you and i both know it well you just don't feel like you didn't exactly read through what i because you're kind of a puss you didn't read through what i said you didn't pay attention i completely paid attention. i said that the value of their jobs to them doesn't equal out to um I'm going in to get the rest of the company sick. I don't, I'm in, no, and that's where you're wrong because they don't care if they get anybody. The idea that that's the that's the reason, you know, I 
I could go in and I could make a little, but you know what? It's more important that I don't infect bullshit. Okay. If you are, if you are not, if you didn't have paid time off, if you didn't have that paid sick day, you would show up sick if you needed the money, 100%. And nobody, and I mean, nobody would have the right to say anything to you. Okay. It's like nobody, nobody would have the right to say anything to me. Well, whatever. Nobody does. Here's what you're going to do. No, you're going to go in, no. you're going to tell your brother-in-law he's a big sissy, <sighs> and you're going to hit him with a piece of wood right over the backs of his head. Yeah, no. No, but it, but there are exceptions. Uh, and, and, oh. and when I was a kid, that's when you were sick. Otherwise, your ass was going to school. I think, too. If you're throw-up sick, if you're projectile vomiting. I think, too. You're staying home. I think, if too. you just are this, oh, I just can't. I just, I'm not 100% today. I just. Uh, Can I finish? You know, I think too. Uh, after you hit him across the backs of the legs, you should grab him by the shirt and you should go, look, this is the Cackley family dynasty. Don't you dare not show up again. Do that. It's his business. Well, again. It's his business. I'm just but, helping him out. You know what? It's, you, you've got your name over the door. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and he's he's tougher than most of the rest of society. So you just, again, the, the guy, comes the, the time. The 65, hey. again, a 65 year old man with pneumonia. And then he was laid low by a stomach virus. Okay. Let me, Don't come let me remind you that even in the coward of the County, there came a time when Tommy stopped and locked the door. This is your time. No, no, it's not my time. But okay. again, the, the moral, the moral to the story yesterday and today is, Suck it up and go to work if you can. If you're just not, if you're actually sick, if you're really sick, I mean, really sick, you can't do it. Or you got some sick time. You're like, you know, I want to use my, I, I'm not, I'm not crapping over anybody for that. But let's not pretend that this is some altruistic thing that young people do because they're more fully evolved, blah, 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 blah. No, no, they just don't feel because they haven't had any real, I don't want to say they haven't had any real obstacles, but a lot of the obstacles for young people have been eliminated so they can't recognize real actual obstacles. That's a part of the, part of the reason I think people get up in their own head. A lot of the times, I think a lot of that is self-inflicted. That doesn't mean it's not real. It doesn't mean it's not a real thing. It 100% is, but I think there's a reason this happened. That's this is happening more often to young people. That's my two cents. Okay. Well, wonderful thoughts. And I'm looking for the representation of the oldest fart I can find anywhere studio because hey. you sir are falling down the old i'm a tree. proud old fart i'm you proud are really becoming a curmudgeon one thing i have recognized over the years the yep. older i've gotten the more often old people ended up being right oh they perfect. did good sorry it's perfect. true your parents were right about most shit right they were right all the things you shut up old man boomer you don't know what you're talking about. I know I'm young. No. And and I didn't know then. I was wrong then. You're wrong what a, now. What a great argument to keep Bullshit. Congress and the Senate at 80 years old. Because old people are smart. No, no. I'm not. <laughs> oh, there's a limit. Hey, dude. I'm Wait not a minute. No, 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 no. You just said old people are smart. Oh, old people are smart. But you get to a point of, of diminishing returns. Keep talking. So Do some can, news. Whatever. Jesus. Hey, speaking of of the old farts in Congress, uh, they have again apparently avoided a government shutdown, at least for the moment. House and Senate leaders uh, reached a bipartisan deal ahead of tomorrow's deadline. The House is expected to vote today on a temporary funding bill uh, with the Senate uh, following soon thereafter. Just keep kicking the can down the road. Who cares? And if it shuts down, I don't care either. So anyway. I didn't, have a, I didn't have a trip to Yellowstone planned, so I don't need to worry oh. about paying it to get There you go. There you go. <laughs> Sad news out of Hollywood. Comedian Richard Lewis has passed away. Uh, Lewis had a stand-up career spanning over five decades, was generally respected as among the best in the business. Uh, Lewis also uh, gained acclaim playing a fictionalized version of himself on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, Richard Lewis, 76, uh, great comic good dude i had actually a friend of mine who's a comedian in los angeles who was friendly with lewis who you know lewis uh, uh famously had you know addictions and 
all that stuff in his past. And my buddy w was dealing with the same thing. And Richard Lewis would text him in the middle of the night. Like just, he, he gave Richard Lewis a lot of credit for him still being alive Nice with everything he was going through. It's, it's nice because it's like my buddy's not a, a huge big name out there. Right. He's been a working comedian for a couple of decades and done some shows and stuff. But um, the fact that this guy, you know, would take time yeah. to do that well, is, is anybody great. in recovery Amazing. should. And I applaud mm -hmm. Richard Lewis for that because, you know, underneath all of it, if you're in the recovery community, your job doesn't really yeah. matter. Right. So if you right. know others that uh, struggle and things like that, you, you put the time in and you, you care. Absolutely. And that's how it works. I will say this of Richard cool. Lewis. Um, I was a fan, but in limited doses. Um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, okay. I liked him a lot on curb. I thought he was mm -hmm. perfect in there. Um, but to sit through like an hour or of that a little tough um, the, the, and, and that's just you're not delivery. you're not into the neurotic jewishness um the neurotic part uh yeah, it just it's, got it, it's a lot and that's okay. okay yeah fair enough yeah and again that's that's a reasonable that's a reasonable critique kind of like this that's reasonable um bobcat goldweight funny yes i can take the act in limited amounts bobcat himself awesome dude his good stand up, like his stand up. Great stand up. I, he had a he had a he had a stand up uh, special. This was late eighties. I remember getting. I had the the uh, cassette tape. It was called Meet Bob. Yeah. And it was really it was really funny. It was consistent. Not just like retrospectively, it was still. I think it still holds up. It was really really good. I got to look here a second. So. I might have. Let me see if I still do. But. See, Bob is one of those guys that has come around enough that mm -hmm. you kind of know him. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that I know him, know him. I kind of know him. And uh, I think I'm going to share a picture. Uh, let me pop it up here once. Look at Bobcat. Give me the finger. <laughs> <laughs> I sent this. I He was in town doing this thing. And I said, I sent the guy driving around. I said, hey, tell Bobcat I said hi. And he sent this picture back over. So Bob oh, nice. thinking of me. Actually um had a uh dvd of shakes the clown okay the Still movie Bob underrated comedy oh my god and um bobcat That's... autographed it he said because i i had the dvd he was coming in and i couldn't find it so i quick hurried up and ordered it on ebay bobcat autographs my copy of shakes the clown thanks for buying two copies of this crap your friend <laughs> bobcat <laughs> He was kind of, you know, because uh, most people, I think, were introduced to, most people our age were introduced to him, like, like Police, Police Academy, Academy yeah. 2, or what, it might have even been the first one, and then, uh, but, yeah, he was fun, yeah. It, it started out with that character, and then he heard his real voice, and, like, he was kind of normal, and then he would occasionally go into that voice, but, uh, yeah, and now he's a, a pretty uh, respected director, so... Yep. It's, Good he's kind of run the, run the game, but again, Richard hey, underappreciated in the movie Scrooge. He was really yes. good in Scrooge. Yes, one hundred percent. But uh, yeah, Richard Lewis, uh, great dude. So good long, Richard. And he will be missed. All right. Finally, lawmakers in Lansing are looking to ban whippets. The legislation is aimed at banning the sale of a whipped cream canister used to inhale undiluted nitrous oxide, the so-called crackers are uh, currently sold at gas stations, uh, smoke shops, and convenience stores. I never, ever did one of those. I mean, that was a thing. That's That goes back, I think, to the 70s Dude. when kids used to do that. And I'm here to tell you what. I never. That was Nothing never like getting combined. Lansing up on the wheel to, to take care of this uh, problem. <laughs> I remember coming home in about 1990, and my sister had commandeered the house for a party one night. Mm -hmm. those whippet canisters were everywhere in the living room they were all over of the floor course. it was i was like what in the heck? i'd never even seen it i'd never heard of it yeah. I'd, i didn't know anything of it and i did like, what I just the heard hell of it. is this she's like oh we're doing whippets and i'm like oh okay <laughs> you're like i'm a uh, you're like i'm 14 i'm going back to my room with this with some jack daniels well no <laughs> i was 20 <laughs> And okay. you're right. I went back to my room with Jack Daniels. But anyway. okay, there you go. Six years off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember people doing nitrous, like 
when I was at Western Michigan, people, they would have nitrous parties. You'd yeah. have, well, you'd have a keg and then somebody would have a huge, I don't know where you'd get the canister of well, nitrous. Go to the from. Ga gas supply store. Okay. Well, you could, there you nitrous, you up. might, this is because the, the whippets are, are. Whippets are just a can. And little, the little right. Canister. But I don't think it's nitrous oxide. I think it's. Um, I thought that's what, the, well, that's what they're well, saying. Maybe it, it is. is. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't. See, you know what see, the problem you, is? You can tell that you and I are not uh, I, big time into the drug scene because we don't know how right. whippets are really done <laughs> or what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I, they're, I they're remain... all doing whippets, and I'm like, hey, where's the Ravana dirt ditch weed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sports Michigan takes on Rutgers College Hoops tonight. Sparty's off until Saturday with their uh, showdown in West Lafayette at Purdue at Sports. 400 bucks in jeopardy today for fictional Africa. Fictional Africa. Yes, sir. Not the real continent. This is the, the fictional. Fictitious. Fictitious Africa. Also known as the Golden City, Bernanzana is the capital of this futuristic African nation. Oh, sh I, oh, God. You can get this one. I should get this one. Because I saw the movie. Yes, you did. Because it was in Black Panther. But I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the, oh. the fake city. Four hundred. Wait, hole. give me a second. Give me a second. Well. Hang on. Okay. No Googling. No, I'm not Googling. My head's just down. I got my hands are. Look. I don't. Oh, 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 it starts with a W, I think. Wah, 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 wah. I want to say Wembenyana, but that's the power forward for the San Antonio Spurs. I think it starts. I know it starts with a W. I'm pretty. Wakanda. I'm gonna have to consult the judges because you got little, you've got a little too much time on this one. Wakanda, no, uh, I got it. Um, I got it. It's Wakanda. Boom, boom, boom. We'll see. Boom. boom I'm gonna call Ken boom, Jennings tonight, boom. and we'll get a no. We'll, I said uh, we'll get a ruling, and I'll I'll let you know tomorrow. Wakanda, Wakanda. Have yourself a great Thursday, and we'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Happy Thursday, Muskegon. A warming trend will commence today and will be in the 60s by Sunday. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Like I said, we will warm back up and we'll be in the 30s staying today, but then we'll be back into the 40s and 50s over the weekend and 60 by Sunday. Over the next few days, we are expecting at least mostly sunny skies as well until rain showers move in on Monday. So like I said, temperatures today will be in the mid-30s, so warmer than it was on Wednesday, but still fairly cold compared to what we have been seeing recently. But we'll warm back up into the 40s and 50s over the weekend. So for your Thursday, expect a high of 36 with mostly sunny skies. All the clouds that were around on Wednesday will be out of the region as lake effect ends, thankfully. And then overnight, we'll stay clear, but warm for being clear with a low of 33. And warmer air will gradually spill in over the next few days. We'll be in the 40s on Friday, 50s on Saturday, and in the 60s again on Sunday with partly cloudy skies moving in by then. We'll have rain showers moving on Monday, which will cool us back down into the upper 40s, but staying well above average for this time of year by the middle of next week. And that's your Thursday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel. And I'm Cole Woods Weather, and have a great day.